To set up your power kit, you can start with the batteries. Pick a spot to place them close to your power hub and stack them either vertically or horizontally. Once you decide how to place the battery, you can use the mounting clamp or mounting bracket to secure them in place. If you are using the vertical stacking method to place your batteries, you need to screw the clamp into the battery first, then place the battery by the wall and screw the clamp firmly to secure it. Make sure you plug the battery cable in first before you stack the other battery. If you are using the horizontal stacking placing method, mark spots for drilling. Screw the mounting brackets firmly in place and place the battery inside the bracket to secure them with the strap. Next, align the mounting bracket of your power hub according to where you place your batteries. Place the power hub into the bracket until it locks in place and screw the bottom mounting bracket to secure the power hub. With your batteries and power hub set up, you can move on to your smart distribution panel. Follow the installation guide to mark a suitable distance and space for your panel. Then, cut a groove for it and place your panel in the groove, or you can place your panel on the surface of your RV. Secure it in place with the provided screws. This can be done to replace your old panel or set up for the first time. After placing your distribution panel, you should move on to the wiring of your distribution panel. First, draw out all the cables of your DC and AC appliance of choice and take the DC main out and AC main out cables of the power hub. Finally, you can wire them into place. After finishing the wiring process of the panel, screw the inner cover of the panel in place and close the outer cover of the panel. The console is used to control your power kit. To install it, measure a space to install the mount. Next, connect the monitor with the RJ45 cable. Then insert the console. Hook up your alternator charging cable with the vehicle starter battery before plugging it into the power hub. Next. Use the solar charge cable to connect your solar panels before connecting to the power hub. With the main components installed, you can start to use the provided cables to connect the main components together. Plug the alternator charging cable, solar charging cable, and battery cable into the power hub in sequence and connect the AC in cable. Finally, connect the power hub to the panel and monitor using the AC main out cable, DC main out cable, and the RJ45 CAN cable. Alternatively, you can plug those cables in first with the power hub before you install the other main components for an easier wiring experience. Finally, press the power hub button for three seconds to bring your system to life. Use the console or EcoFlow app to control and monitor. That's the basics of how to install your power kit for the first time. Need more tutorials? Head to the EcoFlow support channel for specific tutorials in even more detail.